Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley, where in the last episode, we finally gave George his very first fresh gift of leaks, and we also learned a little bit more about Kent, but unfortunately, I completely lost the footage that I recorded for the 4th of spring. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to try my best to recap everything that happened. Um, it was Kent's birthday yesterday, so we did miss that, and that kind of stinks, but it will be Lewis's birthday soon. We have two more days to go until Lewis's birthday on the 7th of spring, so as long as we can hopefully harvest some of our crops before his birthday rolls around, I think we'll be fine. Oh my gosh! Oh, all of the flower petals! Oh, how long has it been since we last saw all of these flowers? flower petals floating in the breeze. This is why I love the springtime in Stardew Valley. It is just so colorful and beautiful. Um, but I did plant a couple more things on the farm in the last um, day that we were here. I planted this down here, in fact. This is our coffee bean. We had a coffee bean sitting in um, one of our chests from the last time that we were in the mines, or one of the last times that we were in the mines. And I just realized that I probably actually want to move one of our rare crows down there just in case, because they are a little bit far away from this coffee bean and we don't want any crows coming down here to steal our precious, precious coffee. So if we sit this guy right over here, then hopefully he'll be able to um, protect our little coffee bean. And we should um, probably just water up all of our tulips too. These look like they're doing um, pretty well. That is the completely wrong way though. There we go. They look like they're um, doing very, very well. So hopefully pretty soon we'll be able to harvest up all of our tulips. I do know quite a few of the people like the tulips around the town. Um, of course, Evelyn loves the tulips. Those were some of her favorite things. So if we could possibly get some like gold star tulips in here, then I know she would get a little bit of a boost. Um, let's say hi to Daisy though. Hello little Daisy, we'll give you a pat on the head and some water in your bowl. And then we'll take a look at our new trees too because I did finally buy some saplings as well. So we have an apple tree right here, I believe. This was our apple tree and this is our orange tree. And since they take so long to grow, I believe it was about 28 days, I figured the orange tree would be a pretty good one to use because I think this means that we should hopefully be able to harvest some oranges by the time the summer rolls around. So we'll have to see if that's the case and then I think the fall time was when um, the apples are ready to harvest. Now let's see. Yes! Yes, our crops are ready to harvest down here. Excellent. Okay, so we absolutely need to have five gold star parsnips from this harvest so that we can go donate them to the Junimos. I mean, how likely is it that we're actually going to have five gold star parsnips? Let's see. Well, there's one that's actually very, very lucky to start right off with a gold star parsnip. We have two so far. We have, um, it looks like a couple silver star ones too, but I think we only um, fertilized about 10 spaces of these parsnips. There's four. Oh my gosh, we're getting to the part where um, we didn't fertilize them. We only have four gold star parsnips. Are you kidding me? Are we actually just one short? Really? Oh my gosh, how terrible is that? We are literally one gold star parsnip short. That means that we're actually going to have to go back to Pierre's and maybe buy some more of um, the parsnip seeds and plant them in the ground. Though I believe the fertilizer is still in the ground right here, so we should be okay. If we plant um 10 more of them, then maybe, hopefully, we'll get another gold star parsnip. Like, that is the worst. We're just one short. How is that even possible? And it looks like, um, is this our garlic? I think this might be our garlic. Yeah, this is um the new crop that we planted right at the beginning of the season, and we've never had garlic before. So let's see, we have one um, silver star garlic and then four regular ones. So I guess we'll go ahead and see how much we could possibly get from uh, the garlic. That would probably be a good idea, and at least it'll give us a little bit of pocket change. So we'll just sell off all of our garlic. We probably could make something um, out of the garlic at some point, but we'll just sell it all off for now. And um, let's actually save one of our parsnips. Um, I guess we'll just do a regular parsnip for Lewis. I don't think it was particularly something that he really, really liked. And as of the um, previous update, if you give somebody a gift that they either love or like, and it's um, one of these either like silver star items or gold star items or even iridium star items, then it will give them a little bit of a boost in their friendship with you. But we want to save the rest. Of course, we are definitely going to save all of these gold star parsnips in here and um, our regular parsnip too. So hopefully we'll be able to um, get one more gold star parsnip I can't believe we are literally just one short right now. That is absolutely terrible. And then, of course, Robin is still working on our barn. I think it might actually be ready tomorrow. I think it might be ready tomorrow, either like one or two more days. So if you guys have any ideas for um, names for our little cows, then do let me know because I am very much looking forward to getting those. I planted a little bit of a grass out here, but I'm a little bit afraid that I might need to get some more too because, yeah, like, look at this. Our chickens have already devoured all of the grass that I planted in front of their coop. So 
So we definitely need to implant a little bit more. I was actually under the impression that maybe the grass would spread around a bit if I planted it, but I guess that's not the case. And we seem to be missing a chicken. Which chicken are we missing? I do not see them. Um, maybe back here? Maybe they're behind their coop? No. No, that's a little bit worrying. Which uh, chicken are we missing? We have Quill, and I believe we should have, um, yeah, Fluff, and we have Peep. So we're missing Chirp. Are you inside, maybe? No, but we do have all of our eggs in here, so that's good to see. And it does look like they still have um, hay in here to eat, just in case they don't have enough grass out here. I mean, at least they still have some over here, but we do definitely need to plant a little bit more for them, I feel like. There you are. There you are. You were hiding behind all of these trees, I bet. Oh my goodness, you gave me quite a scare, little guy. Quite a scare. But yeah, I think we should probably also pick up a couple more of um, the grass seeds to spread around here, because the cows in particular are going to have a little bit of um, a tougher walk. They're going to have to come down here where our little meteor is to actually get them um, a snack to eat. So we definitely want to give them a little bit of an easier time, I guess, um, when they are looking for their food. I am starting to feel like maybe we should save some of our eggs. Maybe we should keep some eggs in this chest for now just as gifts because we know that some people really, really enjoy these and it would be nice to um, stockpile them so that we have them as gifts. Um, as it is right now, we're just changing them all into mayonnaise simply so that we can get a little bit of extra gold. And I'm not sure if that's um, the best idea because then we will have to figure out what else those uh, certain members of the town like. Like Jody, she really loves it when we give her the eggs and Alex too. He really seemed to appreciate that. I think we gave him an egg in um, the last episode when we went to go visit George. And other than eggs, like, I don't think we've really found any other gifts that he likes. But here's Lewis. We haven't talked to you in a while. I hope things are going well on Cattail Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up. We're doing pretty good, Lewis. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, hopefully Pierre is not out on his lunch break. Let's see. Okay, he's still up there. So we can buy a couple of um, those parsnips. I think. There we go. We'll buy, um, I guess, um, 10 more parsnips because that's all that we actually fertilize. So any more than that would be a little bit of a waste at this point because we just want that one more gold star parsnip. And um, other than that, we'll just go ahead and grab some more of this uh, grass starter, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do like five more of these and then plant that around the coop and um, where the barn is going to be. I mean, I suppose we could buy some more crops to fill in the rest of the spaces, but I guess we'll wait until um, we have a little bit more to harvest so that we can plant a whole bunch of things all at once. It would be nice if we could get more um, different types of crops that actually produce throughout the season, like the strawberries and the beans. That would probably be a good idea. But let's say hi to Evelyn too. She's down here. I'm taking care of her tulips, it looks like. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. Well, we are bringing him leeks now. We are definitely on the hunt for leeks, so I think he'll probably enjoy that. And there's Kent. Hello, Kent. Um, it looks like a decent day for fishing, doesn't it? Actually, yes, it definitely does. And that was one of the other things that I wanted to go check out today because Willie sent me a letter in the last episode that said that he has um, some new rods in stock. And I believe those rods are actually going to allow us to use things like um, tackle and um, all of those other things. Like we actually won a couple of those um, different items in the ice fishing competition. So that would definitely be worthwhile to check out. But for now, let's go ahead and plant all of these parsnips in the ground. Of course, the uh, ground is nice and watered, so we don't have to worry about that. And we have all of that fertilizer are still mixed in with the soil, so I think we'll have a good chance of getting at least one more gold star parsnip. We'll plant um, a little bit more of this grass up here, and then I guess the rest will go to the chickens, because the chickens definitely need it up here. They are definitely ravenous. They are eating this place completely dry, so we'll spread this all around. Yeah, I was under the impression that this was going to spread a little bit, but it definitely is not, and it looks like it only um, pops up in clusters of four, too, so our chickens are probably pecking away at that all at once. They probably come rushing out first thing in the morning and just devour the whole field. Um, but there's our mayonnaise. There we go. So I guess for now, for today, we will place some um, the rest of our eggs in here just for that extra money because, um, of course, we do definitely need it. I was hoping that maybe we could buy that last um, backpack upgrade if we have enough money after we um, harvest all of these different items. There are a couple more things that I do want to save gold for um, later on in the season, so we just have to kind of like budget our time properly. And we may have, actually, speaking of budgeting our time, we may have run out of time to go down to Willie's shop, so that's a bit unfortunate. Um, and in fact, I don't think it'll be any faster if we use um, the little minecart system. I don't think that'll be any faster because it would take us all the way off to Clint's shop if we used um, the town 
warp. So let's just go down here and we'll see if Willie's still in, though honestly it's about 5 p.m. so I don't think he's going to be. And in fact, why don't we instead go over to um, the secret woods? That might be a good idea because the secret woods, um, we can get the hardwood there. And one thing that I do definitely know that I want to do once we buy um, these little cows, I want to get those cheese presses on our farm. So with the cheese press, we can turn milk into cheese. And I know that a lot of the um, different dishes actually require cheese to make. So it would be a very good idea if we at least keep um, a couple little bits of cheese inside our fridge. Because actually, if I remember correctly, the pepper poppers, the pepper poppers take um, some cheese to make. And if we can make sure that we have um, the cheese presses ready to go by the summertime, then we could grow some fresh uh, chili peppers and we can make some fresh cheese. Oh my gosh, and the traveling merchant is here today. I almost forgot. It's actually Friday. Friday, so let's see what she's selling too. Um, let's see, we have, ah, the Morel, okay. So we actually just found a couple of these in um, the secret woods the other day, so that's kind of neat. 900 gold for these though, 900 gold. So maybe if we find some more, we could actually sell those off today because if she's selling them for that much, then maybe we could make um, a little bit of pocket change off of them ourselves. We have little snails to buy. Oh my gosh, that is an expensive snail. Um, summer seeds, an assortment of wild summer seeds. I think these are like the foraged items, so we don't really need to worry about that right now because we could just make that on our own. Um, tulips, of course. We're growing our own tulips, so we don't need to buy that. Um, the cactus fruit. The cactus fruit. Didn't we need that for something? Was that um, in one of the bundles, maybe? It might have been one of the bundles that we already actually um, completed, though. And a rare seed. Oh, so in the fall, it takes the season to grow. I don't think we've seen this yet. And I have been, uh, I've been told, I've been hinted that we might actually need this to um, give to old Master Cannoli, I think his name was. So let's buy this. We'll buy this right away. And then we'll just take a quick peek at the uh, community center tab to make sure that the um, cactus was not one that we actually needed. Like, I think it may have actually been part of one of the bundles that we already completed because we don't need it in the dye bundle. We don't need it in the chef's bundle, but we do have um, the maki roll and I will actually go give that to um, Gus as soon as possible once we go donate some more things. Thanks for letting me know about that. I completely forgot that we needed to give that to them. We need to give Marnie some hay, which we could probably do pretty soon, and the apples too. That's part of the reason why I bought the apple tree. And um, yeah, it's not in the Enchanter's Bundle either. So we must have actually already completed it. That's probably the case. So we don't need to buy um, the cactus fruit yet, but at least we know that we have it up there. I'm gonna let me just move this out of the way and get our um, sword in our inventory, of course, because we are going to need this. There are many, many slimes in the uh, in the little enchanted forest over here. Thankfully, they're just um, green slimes, I believe, so we shouldn't have too much trouble trying to get rid of them. But let's go ahead and gather up some hardwood because we do need the hardwood for the cheese press. I believe it was hardwood, copper, a copper bar, and um, maybe some regular wood and stone. So not the earth crystal that we needed for um, the mayonnaise machine. It was the mayonnaise machine, right? And I am so glad that we ended up getting the mayonnaise machine because it really increased our funds with um, the eggs. So I feel like the cheese press is probably going to be the same. It'll probably make um, our milk a little bit more valuable than if we just sold it regularly. But yeah, let's get rid of these guys before we try to get the rest of our hardwood here. And I do see one of those mushrooms over here. There we go. So we could actually sell this off today because um, we do have a couple of them saved up anyway. Um, you guys have said that some of the townspeople do really enjoy these um, special mushrooms. And oh my goodness, it just got really bright here at seven o'clock. Okay. Um, yeah, this is old Master Cannoli, right? He's still searching for the sweetest taste. And yeah, you guys gave me a little hint that maybe we do need to grow this rare seed to uh, possibly give to him whatever it happens to be. So we will grow that in the fall time and we'll see what um, becomes of that rare seed. So we just have a couple more stumps down here, I believe. We'll go ahead and grab these two. Now, I think it was 10 pieces of hardwood per cheese press, but we have kind of been stockpiling our um, hardwood as it is. So I feel like we'll probably be able to make quite a bit of these. Um, I just have to find the secret little exit there. There we go. So we have um, 12 pieces of hardwood from this particular run. And I think that's pretty good. I mean, that's quite a bit of hardwood per day. I'm very, very glad that we opened up this place because um, that's going to help us out quite a bit as long as we remember to actually return to um, the secret woods whenever we can. Of course, we can't do it every day because sometimes we just have way too many chores on the farm to take care of. Luckily, all of those sprinklers are really cutting it down though. 
We don't have to worry about watering every single one of our crops every single day. Oh my goodness, could you imagine watering all 80 of those crops every single day? That would probably take at least half of the day, and then we wouldn't have any time to um, go give gifts around the town or to buy more things or um, to pick up the hardwood, of course. But let's see, we could probably actually make some of our cheese presses right now. I mean, we probably could. We might as well give it a try. Um, we'll go in here and we'll see if we have any copper bars. We might as well smelt some more too because um, that would probably be a good thing to do. We have so many copper ore pieces just lingering around in our chest that we might as well just throw them all straight in here. There we go. And then we'll place the rest on um, the leftover bits right back where it belongs. We can use these, I think, for the bombs. So that's why I like to keep a couple of them on hand. But um, yeah, we'll go ahead and pick up some of our wood and whatnot. And um, I guess we could place the sap back in here here. Um, do we have some slime? Yeah, we have some slime, but not that much. Like, I don't know if there's really anything that we need to use the slime for, is there? We haven't really been um, keeping track of the slime. I usually just sell it off because it seems like we don't ever use it, so it's just kind of clogging up the chests. But um, yeah, we do have two little um, morel mushrooms, so we'll leave those in there and we'll sell off the new one that we just got. And I guess we want to keep um, that rare seed very, very safe. I'll put it in here for now, like our little miscellaneous chest, I guess. This is our little miscellaneous chest as it has become just so that we don't lose track of that and then we'll place some um, our mayonnaise in here we'll place our mushroom in here our other mayonnaise as well and then yeah let's see how many of these cheese presses we can actually make one <laughs> We can make one cheese press. Excellent. Okay, I must have missed um, picking up our hardwood. So if we could make at least two of those cheese presses just like um, our mayonnaise machines, then we might be in um, a good situation. Let's pick up a little bit more of this hardwood. <laughs> just one of them. Oh, okay, so we're actually low on regular wood. That's because um, we built this barn, of course. The barn took up a lot of our wood. So that means that I'll have to do a little bit of tree chopping later on. But for now, let's light up the area for Robin because it is very, very dark over here and I don't want her working in the dark. She works all day long. She works all through the night. She doesn't get any rest. Poor Robin. I mean, she really does her job well though, so we have to give her that. Um, now let's at least put the cheese press right over here so that we can use it later. Um, and in fact, let's place it on the other side of our little rare crow. There we go. A little bit closer to our barn too. So hopefully, hopefully once our calves grow up, because I do believe they um, come to our farm as little babies, just like our little baby chickens. Oh my gosh, that is going to be so much fun. That is going to be so adorable. Hopefully once they grow up, we can um, use their milk to make some nice fresh cheese, some homemade cheese, and then we can use that cheese to hopefully make some pepper poppers too for Shane. That's where I was getting at with that because I do know that Shane really, really loves the pepper poppers. He actually um, sent us some a while back that I think we might still have in our fridge. We might still have that in here. Yes, we do, pepper poppers. And it gives us a little bit of a boost in um, speed and farming too. So we might actually want to use that at some point when we're doing a little bit more work. Um, the Autumn's Bounty could give us a little bit of um, a boost in defense, which is particularly useful if we're going to be going mining. But yeah, we have the Maki Roll, which we can give to um, the Junimos, and I will probably do that um, very, very shortly. Hopefully, once we get one more of those Gold Star Parsnips. Oh my gosh, I am still so upset about that. We're just one short. And then we have all of these other things, too, that we wanted to give around as gifts, like pizza for Sam and a chocolate cake for Vincent, which is excellent because I just realized that his birthday is also coming up. So how perfect is it going to be that we'll give um, Vincent a nice big chocolate cake on his birthday. I think he'll really appreciate that. And then we have the egg festival too. And I want to say it was the egg festival where we could actually um, buy those strawberry seeds. And that's going to be particularly good for us, I feel. Um, that would probably give us a very nice boost because the strawberries, I believe, um, produce all throughout the season. But let's go ahead and tuck Jess into bed for now because it is getting very, very late. And I guess in the next episode, hopefully, if Robin is done building the barn, then maybe we can look into buying some little cows that would be really fun. So if you guys have any ideas for cow names, then do let me know. I would love to hear them. Um, we do have very, very silly names for our chickens. So I love silly, cute, adorable names like that. Just go wild. Let me know what you want our um, little cows to be named. And hopefully we'll also be able to give um, Shane that nice iridium quality egg soon before it gets too old. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. So the first harvest of uh, the spring season, we might as well go take a look at that. The garlic didn't do too bad. Okay, so if we had a little bit more garlic, we might be able to get um, a pretty decent amount of gold off of that. And of course, the mayonnaise just takes over like usual. The mayonnaise is definitely our top seller right now.